hey guys welcome back to another video so today's video is going to be my updated makeup routine so this is how i do my makeup every time i do my makeup my face makeup. first thing i always start by before primer is i use my eyebrow gel and brush up my eyebrows and i'm using the elf clear brow gel because it never does me wrong and it's like two dollars like I changed the way I did my brows so much. I used to like do the whole full nine yards of brushing, of like filling them in, you know, outlining all that. Now I don't do that anymore because it's just pointless to me. So as I brush them up, I angle them like this, boom, boom, boom. I keep these ones up right here. So boom. And then while that's drying, see that was pretty easy. Next, I start priming. I already did my skincare this morning. Um, I'll do an in-depth skincare routine soon. But um, I use the Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer. So this is the moisturizer I'm sticking by. I definitely recommend it if you have really dry skin like me. Like my skin doesn't even look dry. Before even primer, I'm gonna put something on my lips. NK makeup lip gel because my lips is dry. Like you can use whatever you want, but I use this while I'm done my makeup and I'll wipe it off later. I go in with my primer, always prime. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Look, at, you know I love this if I keep using it. And it's not only cause it's $30, like, so I usually do two pumps of it on my hand. And I just massage it into my face. If you see me looking over, it's a mirror. It makes your makeup tacky, as you can see. Next, I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, I bought this with that primer. This is the... um travel size and I just put this where my pores are largest so it's right here on my cheeks I just use my finger to spread it out I have experienced some like clumping from this um primer before so I don't use a lot because like why are you clumping and then for foundation I have actually upgraded you know, in my first um I know my first one I was mixing two foundations it's the Clinique and the Maybelline and then in my second one, I was using LA Girl Concealer and Foundation. But finally, I'm using NARS. I am in the shade Manu. Shake it up. Um, I actually went to Sephora and I got um swatch or tested, and they found all the ones that you know stick to my that's my skin tone. So this is the one I bought from them. They actually help me really good. And I take two pumps because one pump is not enough coverage for me and my, it's just not enough coverage for me, okay? So, sometimes I do three, I'm gonna do three today. But this foundation is expensive, y'all. Like, I forget how much it cost it. Matter of fact, my receipt right here. Oh no, that's the wrong one. I forget how much it cost, y'all, but I think it's worth it. Like when I run out, I'm gonna buy some more. Like when I find something I like and I run out, I'm gonna buy it again because that's just how I am. This thing is supposed to be holding my hair back. Why are you not holding my hair back? The buffing foundation brush from e.l.f. This one or the ultimate blending brush, as you can see. E.l.f. brushes, people need to stop sleeping on them. You don't not, you do not need to spend hella money on face brushes. If you want to spend hella. If you want to spend hella money on eye brushes, that's okay. But face brushes, no. So I'm going to take the ultimate, the buffing foundation brush. I'm going to just rub it on whatever is left on my hand. And then, something I always did. I used to use the Mario Badescu, but literally, no. That's over. I still got it, but it's like, I don't even use it. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Refresh Spray. It, it goes with the primer, obviously. And I just spray my face with it, and then I begin to blend out the foundation. And the thing about this, and I'm using tapping motions, not buffing. 
just tapping it into the skin. But the thing about that spray is it's very fine. Like the mist is very fine. I like to apply a lot of spray. Like before I got that, I used to use the e.l.f. Um, dewy Sunny Spray. And I, it sprayed out a lot. So that's what I was used to. So it took me a little while to get used to the mist of that one. That's why I used so much. But as you can see, this matches my skin crazy. Like look at my skin. It really matches me like crazy. Like look, like look at me. I already look more awoken. So after that, I still use ColourPop. I love ColourPop. I still use the no filter concealer and I'm using the shade Deep Dark 54. I usually use 52, but 54 has been working out pretty, pretty good for me. So I just put this on my T-zone. I just put a little bit up here. I put just one line right there for my nose contour. Some on the chin. And I have some discoloration around my lips. It's right there. On top of my lip, on the sides of my nose, there's also some discoloration. That, you know, the foundation might have missed. I'm gonna go underneath my eye with it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here. So I use this e.l.f. dual complexion brush. You can use this side for like, foundation and this side for like you know whatever else but i use this side to blend out my concealer and i usually work from the bottom up i always do my eyes last because i always let my concealer set itself a little bit so it's more um pigmented so i don't lose most of the product at least coverage i just tap it out as well tap 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 After I apply the concealer, I go in with the P. Louise base in room number five. I just squeeze them on the back of my hand like this much. I have like this thin flat brush. I use that to apply it. So I only apply it like right here. I like the inner corners of my eye. So brighten it up. And then I apply it right there. So I use the same brush to blend it out. And I just tap, like, tap, tap, tap. So when you're blending out the end, so I can blend this part up, cause it's contouring it. Well, you know, it's giving it a highlight and that's gonna create the, the illusion of contour. So with the end, I really, I drag it towards the inner part of my eye first. Because I don't like it being too bright out here. So this is like I drag it out and I bring it back. And by drag I mean pat. <laughs> and bring it back. Because you can see it's a line. And you want a line, but that's too bright. So I'll just go back in with whatever brush I use for foundation and just tap over it like this. And that get rid, get rid of the line a little bit. And just keep tapping over it. You can see the line is not as visible. If you want it to be a little bit more visible, you still have some product on your brush. You just blend that out like that. Boom. For powder, I still use um, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I actually don't have the bottle anymore. First of all, let me talk about this. The way they have the bottle, I'm gonna put it up here. The way they have the bottle is like, how is somebody supposed to use that? Like, what? 
you have you literally have to transfer it into a different container if you really want to use it and you really want it to be accessible it's not accessible i transferred it i've been did this in my first video you'll see that i did this but i transferred it into this hd flawless powder thing so this powder actually the hd flawless powder i got from a, my local beauty supply it was horrible gave crazy flashback so i just threw it all away kept the container and i dumped the makeup revolution powder here as you can see this is all makeup revolution powder always blend out wherever you're about to set so you don't set creases and i keep this powder for my t-zone or for my everywhere i just put the highlighted concealer and i actually use a brush to use powder now because sometimes with the sponge it's, it's too cakey so i use a flawless face brush from ofra and i just I take a little bit at a time. I build some up on my brush, tap it off, and set. As you can see. And this powder is really good. Like, look how smooth my chin is now. Like, my face is already smooth looking, but with this, and with the nose, I just carefully just do this line right here. Boom. But that's it. And I set up here. Just press it into your skin with the brush. And I a little bit goes on, like a little bit at a time. You don't want to do too much. I just put it exactly where I put the concealer. And you can see it instantly blurs it. Instantly it's blurred. Make sure I have no creases. And then you set it. instantly blurs and once you get to the outside you want to do this this brush has an angle so i can angle it to go out like that the next part i use is the offer powder so this one came in the offer packaging as well so this one is the translucent dark powder it says apply lightly with a powder brush for matte finish i use a sponge this is how the inside looks. It has like this separation thing right here. You can twist it and it opens up the holes. You can't see, but yeah. I usually keep it closed because when I have powder up there, I keep it closed. So I go in with my Morphe sponge. This is the one I like. It's really good, especially if you really want to cut for your contour. It's really good. First, I'm gonna take this side and set my smile lines. Just take a little bit of powder. I blow it off. If you don't make up on somebody else, you don't blow it off. You tap it on your hand, okay? That's unsanitary. Especially in these times. And I just tap it into my smile line. Sponge also, I, I wet it and I squeeze out like most of, as much water as I could squeeze out. So for the contouring, what I'm gonna do first is contour, and then I'm gonna clean it out with the powder. So, I have yet to find a new contour, so I'll stick with what I know. It's, the, it's my Ray Ray palette. It's been through hell and back, that's why I look like this. This is the first palette, I think this is the first one she came out with. It's discontinued. Beach Cosmetics made this palette of her, so I, I'm pretty sure they have single um, contours and bronzers. As you guys can see, like I said, this has been through hell and back. This one, but I use obviously this one for contour. It's the shade Brownie Bite. Okay, see, it's been, like it, it's out. So I use the shade Brownie Bite for contour. And I also use it like I'm saying, Elf, Elf, go to Target, go to Walmart, go to Ulta, because they sell off there too. I use this Elf pointed powder brush. I use this for um contour. 
because it picks up the right amount and it is the way it diffuses it is perfect. So I just tap into it a little bit and it tap right where I want to contour. Just lightly tap. Always contour my chin because I kind of have a double chin. Not really, but it's getting there. So I'll contour that too. Just go right underneath of it. See, look at the difference. This one looks more sharp than this one. And then. And like I said, I don't do nose contour. The only thing I do is like the false contour, which is where I highlight it. And now, this is where you take your brush. I mean, you take your sponge. This part right here. That's why this sponge, you have to get this sponge. This straight edge is going to snatch off. So you dip it in your powder, whatever powder you like to use for like when you do your contour. Not dip it in. I get like an okay amount of powder. I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me 40 powder, but that's very red. And this is what I do. I start right underneath the contour and drag it. So it's like not just straight, it's like a curve towards your mouth and your nose. I'm gonna do that again. So it's like a curve. That's what works for me. That's what works for my face shape. Some people can do it straight, but I like to do. And like the hardest part is trying to mirror it on this side. Take it off with the Ofra stippling brush. Follow this spray. It's a stippling brush. Now just do like this. Swipe it back and forth lightly. And after that, that's when I would do my eyebrows. So like I said, um, I use whatever's left of the um, P. Louise base. And I literally just carve out the underneath side of my brows. I don't do the top. I only carve out the underneath. And this is how I do it. Take the same brush we used earlier. And you want to start right here have a meat in the middle so one of my eyebrows is lower than the other it seems oh boom have a meat in the middle right there and once they begin meeting once they're meeting you want to just continue out just don't touch the eyebrow yet i just do this right underneath of it right where it's gonna be And I need some more product. And that's when you find your arch and follow that. And then I do the same to the other brow. This one is thicker and shorter, it seems. I use the same brush from earlier, the concealer brush. I use to blend out everything. Blend out the middle. And blend out underneath of these. And then obviously I have some like right here. I don't want to be on my foundation. Take the same foundation brush. Boom. There we go. That's my eyebrows. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm doing it off camera because, like I said, I don't really do tutorials on here anymore. That's why I'm doing this because this is how I've been doing my makeup for a while. And I'll come back after my eyeshadow is finished. Okay, so now that my eyeshadow is done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my blush. Um, for blush, I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. 
But I always keep losing it in the shade Barry. It's basically like this shade right here. So instead, I'm just gonna use these Ofra blushes. I mixed three of them. None of them have a name on the back. So I'm telling you, these three, this one, this one, and this one. So boom, boom, boom. Mainly these two, cause that one is pigmented. And I just apply it upwards. So right there, see? So after that, I'm gonna spray my face. And I'm gonna use the same spray from earlier, the milk. Um, I'm gonna cover my eyes, actually. That's something I've been doing. So I'm gonna cover my eyes, so I'm gonna spray half of my face right now. I'm gonna take my sponge and pat it into my face. So I don't do highlighter anymore um, because it shows up too much texture on my skin. My skin has texture. I use the Benefit Roller Lash. This is a sample size. But honestly, this is the perfect size if you're only using it for your bottom. This is what the wand looks like. And for my top mascara, I use the Benefit. Like I said, Benefit, this is the same. They made the same, all right? Yeah, Benefit, they know what they're doing with their mascaras, okay? I use the Their Real Magnetic. They have the non-magnetic one. I never tried that one. I bought this one because when I was at Ulta, the lady was hassling me, for real. She was like, yeah, you should buy this one. It just came out. So that's when it just came out. And I was like, all right, I'll buy it. For lip liner, I use the Brown Matte Lip Liner. This is the technical lip color liner in Kajal, but it's the brown one. Y'all know what I'm saying. And this is how I line my lips. It's not really a tutorial, I just follow the natural lining of my lips. And this part, I bring it in or well, out more. I, at the top, I bring it out more right here. It makes it more like a pout. So here's my lip combo. I'm only doing this once, so pay attention. First lipstick we going in with. ColourPop Lippy Stick and Grunge. I'm not even sure if they still sell this. I hope so, because this is my last one. I, I still got a lot left. But this is, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right here. This is like a very mauve -y pink. Put that in the center. Right here. And that's enough. Don't blend it in, just. You wanna go in with your MAC. Luster lipstick and this lustering. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this one too. This one is a very pink pink. Apply that in the center. You don't need a lot of everything. Then, now we're on to glosses. So two lipsticks and like four glosses. So next we use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I'm gonna swatch this as well. It's like a very, like a cool tone pink, honestly. So that's the swatch right there, right here. Oh, I touched it right here. And I'll put that in the middle as well. So right here. Use a good amount of that one. So that made it more cool tone. Then I go in with my Dosa Colors of Gloss and on repeat. Let's swatch that one right here. So this is the Dosa Colors one. Go in with that, do the same thing. Do that one, you wanna take your Ofra Lip Gloss and Cherry Mocha. This one is, is bringing back the color, okay? 
I'm gonna put that right underneath of, I'm gonna repeat. Got on my bracelet. This is Chai Mocha. It looks similar, it's just a little darker than on repeat. Here's my finger. I only need a little bit, it's very pigmented. I didn't even apply everything that's on my finger. We not done yet, y'all. We got one more gloss, okay? Make sure y'all have a tissue or something. Don't wipe your fingers off with. Then, the last thing we use, the last thing that we use, the same clear gloss from earlier. It could be any color of this, like this type of gel. Gotta be thick, okay? This is gonna just, it doesn't move, and it's thick enough so it doesn't move what we placed on already. It just coats it. So we just get a little bit on our finger. Like this much is good. That's like a less than a dime size. And just use your finger. Don't press down hard, just lightly spread it. Okay, so you're gonna have some excess lip gloss. You don't wanna walk around with lip gloss or lipstick on your teeth. After you spread it that, this is what I do. Take my finger sideways and I just I don't know how to explain it, but this is what I do. Like that. And I got rid of majority of the gloss, the extra gloss, you see? I wipe that and I wipe my finger off. And then I do it again. And I rub my lips together. I do it again. Wipes off some more. Because you don't want all that gloss on you. Now, you don't have any on your teeth, and your lips look good. Purr. Here's a close-up of the finished product. And the thing with the MAC lip liners, they don't come off easy. They do not come off easy. Like, I've been eating, I've been drinking with them on, and they stayed on. That's the only part that stayed on, for real. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at this. Look at my beat. Like, obviously, if you wanted to add highlighter, you could, but I don't, like I said. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will list everything that I use down below, um, and, and a link for everything I use down below. I know this video was long, but like, it has to be in depth so you guys see exactly how I get this look. Also, if you if you are asking about these lashes, I got them from AliExpress. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more down below. Also, like I said, all my TikToks are like makeup tutorials. So, if you want this eyeshadow tutorial, it will be listed on my TikTok. It will be down below as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and bye.